Hey, Randy Hunter here, and I just want to give you a little bit of an idea of what to expect with this beginning improvisation series. Now, first of all, make sure that you understand this is a beginning improvisation series, not the beginning saxophone series. If you're a very beginner on the air instrument, be sure to check out my beginning saxophone series. That'll teach you how to play the instrument. Now, once you've got your basic skills down, you'll be ready to move into this beginning improvisation series. Now, in this series, we're going to learn all the fundamentals that it takes to really get you rolling along, and this is in a very structured manner. I know I've got my Stage 1 series that has a lot of uh, foundational lessons, and the beginning improvisation series will reference a number of those lessons, a number of the lessons that are in Stage 1 and Stage 2, so you'll know where to move um, as you go along to learn more in-depth practice techniques about the concepts we'll cover. But in this series, we're going to start out with things like the role of the major scale. Now, you probably already know some major scales. You may even know all 12. Um, that's very important, and I'll stress that in the lesson, but we'll also get into using the major scale for improvisational improvisation purposes. I've got play-along tracks that we'll use throughout this lesson series. So we've got play-along tracks that you'll be able to use with the major scale. We'll do some trading back and forth. We'll also learn about how the Dorian scale, which is one of the uh, most important scales in jazz improvisation, is constructed from the major scale and how and its role in in minor sounds. So and we've got some play alongs for that as well. And then we'll move into learning about the blues. Now we'll start out with the blues scale and the you know just the basics of playing the blues and I'll reference other lessons where you can learn more about the chord progressions to the blues. But you know we'll use the blues scale, learn about the construction of the blues scale and do some improvisation again with play along tracks and back and forth. Then we'll move into another foundational skill used in jazz and that's the pentatonic scale. And We'll learn how the pentatonic scale is constructed and can be used to play on different types of chords in jazz. And again we've got play along tracks there. And then once we're, we're done with those lessons we'll move into uh, a couple of lessons, the A, B's and C's the A, B, C's, and D's of jazz improvisation where we learn about how chords are constructed. We'll start with basic triads and then we'll move into uh, seventh chords. And again, we've got play along tracks there. And then once we're, we're through with that series or that, that lesson, we'll move on into other lessons. I've got several lessons on developing your jazz sound, developing jazz technique, and also ear training. So, you know, by the time you work through this series of lessons, you will really be ready to move ahead into um, advancing as an improvising jazz musician, and you will also have a good idea how you should practice and the things that you should practice. Okay, so let's dig into the lessons and let's have just a really good time as we work at um, learning to improvise jazz music. <laughs> 